off into adventure with four men who fly as one, roaring into the skies to smash the barriers of the unknown, the untried. Trailblazers for a far better future for all men. The skipper, Commander Zeke Martin. In number two plane, Marine Captain Mac Hathaway. In number three, Lieutenant Lefty Doyle. Number four, Lieutenant J.G. Nello Bruzzi. Four men, hand-picked by the Navy, welded together into a united team to conquer the unexplored reaches of the heavens. These are the United States Navy's Blue Angels. Flight Plan Blue Angels, number 30207, filed 18 June 1950. Place, somewhere in the Pacific. Orders, report to Commander Task Force 78. Duty, enemy combat, Korea. Well, 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 here come the Blue Angels. Hey, Skipper. Yo, Nello. Let's give him a show, huh? No soap, Nello. Let's just worry about those landings. Oh, come on, Zeke. It might be for the last time. Well, how do you make that out? Well, this is Max, sir. Nello's right. There's still a chance they might break us up once we get aboard. Okay, once over the deck, and then we break off of the landing. Okay, stand by to stream colored water. And this time, Mac, don't lift me out of formation again with your wing air pressure. Execute. What's going on up there? Blue Angels, Captain. I believe they call that the tuck under break. Well, I have a new name for it. The swan song. Commander, tell the skipper the Blue Angel to report to me as soon as he lands. Yes, sir. You ought to know better to pull that stuff over a carrier. Well, I'm sorry, sir. The boys just thought it might be their last chance to operate as a team. And I'm sorry to have to tell you that they're right. They're being broken up as a team. But why, sir? The four of us operating together should prove a useful weapon for this task force. Zeke, look at it this way. You four represent a lot of experience and strength, a kind of anchor. You personally will work on staff, coordinate the activities of the other squadrons. Each of the other three will be assigned to a different squadron, and that way each squadron will have the benefit of one Blue Angel. That's all. Yes, sir. After 16 years of listening to his sea stories, <laughs> guess what his joker wound up? On a garbage show. <laughs> uh, uh. Hey, Skipper. What's the dope, hey. Skipper? Well, that was our last hop as a team. Oh, come on, Skipper, you're kidding. No, they're breaking us up. It's a straight door. How do you like that? They develop us in peacetime and break us up in combat. The guys who thought it up have got more combat hours than you got phone numbers. More Jap Zeros to their credit than you got years of service, so knock it off. These fellows out here know what they're doing. Now, let's go. General orders to Task Force 78. Proceed to designated combat area off Korea. 
general orders to USS Princeton, launch daily combat strikes. General orders to the Blue Angels, break up the team. And while Zeke Martin acts as squadron coordinator, Mac, Lefty, and Nello fly designated combat missions with their individually assigned squadrons. knocking off the makes. Well, he's an angel. <laughs> oh, well, you shook up when they jumped us. Hey, you're full of chicken soup. You mean you weren't shook up? Calm as a cucumber. I spotted him out and called him, didn't I? Number and altitude, didn't I? Then how come you hollered 10,000 migs coming in at five feet? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you say, Skipper? Hi. Right. Left. Hey, you in the next lap? They couldn't do it without me. Well, you'll have company. Lefty's outfit's going, too. You can take the afternoon off, Dad. I'll handle it. Oh, I understand this hop's a lulu. Some kind of a dam squeezed in between two mountain ranges. Right off the boundary of Red China, too. And the guys on staff are pretty anxious to have it knocked out. It supplies power for everything north of the 38th parallel. Commander Martin, report to CIC. Commander Martin, report to CIC. Good luck, boys. Take care, Zeke. See you, Zeke. You better know. Orders from Combat Information Center to Squadron Badger. Combat Strike. Objective, enemy held power dam. The opposition, enemy aircraft in strength. Exceptionally heavy anti-aircraft fire. Careful, Lefty. That ridge to your right is loaded with AA. Can you hit that far ridge so I can get a clear rocket shot? Come on, you'll have to move in close on me so I can hit it. We'll try, but it's closer than I want to get to you, Lefty boy. Come on, he's in there, Bill. You're gonna have to stick tight on me or we'll both get it. This is the best I can do, kid. Let's try it. Okay, they've opened up. Let's weave. Bill, keep that throttle up. Close up, boy. Close up, Bill. You're it out too much. Come on, close up, boy. If you lag behind, they're gonna take it all out on you. Come on. Pull up, Bill. Pull up, pull up, boy. Come on. Badger base, this is Badger 2. Over. That stuff down there is pretty heavy. Recommend holding up further passes until something else can be worked out. 
more concentrated firepower needed for job. The corridor between the mountains is too narrow for wide spacing of planes. Without a fight lead, we're dead ducks. Over. Badger 1. This is Badger Base. Ray transmission, Badger 2. Cancel further strikes. Find other targets of opportunity and return to base. Over. Badger Base. This is Badger 1. We'll go on out. Any ideas, Zeke? Yeah. I think it can be done. Between the ridges again? By a tight team who can work practically wing to wing. Meaning the Blue Angels? Yeah. Well, I admit you could dry run any four pilots on it for a week and get them in a pretty good shape. But the Angels can do it now. They can come in tight and they hit that dam with concentrated fire and hit it hard. By they, you mean we. Yeah, that's right, Bill. Okay, Zeke, I'll go along with you. I'll recommend it to the Admiral. Messenger. Take this to the flag. Okay, Zeke, tell me more. I like the four of us to be heavy loaded with rockets and bombs. Minimum fuel load. How do you get back aboard? We don't. After we do the job, we hightail it to airstrip K-13, just below the 38th parallel. Now, we'll just make it. Refuel and rendezvous with you at a given point option. I suppose one of you gets hit before you get to the 38th parallel. It's a long way over enemy-held territory. You'll be picked up and shot. Well, if the plane's in one piece, we'll get it back by air pressure. Air pressure? Oh, come on, Zeke. Let's not play games. Oh, I'm not, Bill. Believe me, it works. All right, all right. Forget the air pressure. Go on. We'll need about 20 planes to create confusion like so. Now, each range should be worked over continually for 10 minutes prior to and during our attack. Now, those AAs have got to be kept busy. Now, some of the support groups should drop napalm to start fires to smoke up the area. See, it'll, it'll be tougher for them to see us if we're coming in so low. CIC, Commander Steiner. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, Zeke, the old man says it's all yours. Thanks, Bill. I'll get the boys up here for a briefing as soon as they get aboard. Okay, you've got the picture. One false move over that line and you're violating Chinese airspace. The job is to get that North Korean dam without hitting the Chinese side. Is that clear? Your takeoff time is 0600. Oh, one thing, Bill, uh, the planes, uh, you've got to be practically tuned up to each other. The mechs will work all night on your ships. Okay, what's his name? Chief Hank Wessel. He's on the line in the hangar deck right now, sir. Been chafing at the bit ever since we got called up here. He's all yours. And another thing, the old man says, quote, no stunts, unquote. We call them maneuvers, sir. <laughs> Time, early dawn. Mission, destroy dam. Diversionary force, squadrons Wolf and Badger. Striking force, the Blue Angels. until after we hit the dam. Well, that includes you, Nello. Thank you, sir. Squadrons Wolf and Badger make their diversionary attack as planned. Once again, a powerful united unit approached their target. 
Looks like our boys are keeping the commies busy.
Coming in fine, boy. 50 feet. Okay, hotshot. Sit down and start pushing on those brakes. Okay, okay, you're down. Good boy. Now, just don't take your feet off those brakes. exhibition. Looks too easy that way. Next, next time, let's try it upside down. Maybe you got something, Nello. Okay, boys, take them away. Huh? Hey, Chief, who are those wild men? The Blue Angels, sir. Holy cat. Any more like them in those flat tops? Uh-uh. That's all there is. Them four, there ain't any more. No, there aren't any more like these four men. None who can blaze the trails in peace and war with the skill, the daring, the united purpose, the teamwork of the Blue Angels. Tune in again next week when the Blue Angels prove once again that teamwork pays off. When the unknown and unbelievably dangerous eye of a Caribbean hurricane is paid a daring visit by the Blue Angels. <laughs>